med history. Proteus syndrome is a rare congenital pathology manifested by abnormal growth of individual parts of the body. Usually an increase in the area of the head, arm, or leg is detected. Partial hypertrophy is combined with an increased likelihood of thrombosis and thromboembolism, the formation of tumors of various structures and localization. The diagnosis is made based on the results of the examination, X-ray, Connecticut, MRI, angiography, Dopplerography. No radical treatment has been developed. Orthopedic devices are used according to indications. Operations are performed to improve limb functions, facilitate breathing and eating. Surgical removal of neoplasms is performed. As a result of mutation, three types of cells are formed in certain parts of the body, normal, hyper, and atrophic. In the altered area, the skin, bone, muscle, and adipose tissue, lymphatic and blood vessels are involved in the process, which causes deformation, an increase in the length and volume of a limb or part of the head, and vascular changes. Since the defective gene is a tumor suppressor, the presence of a mutation dramatically increases the likelihood of neoplasms. The cause of the disease is somatic mosaicism, presumably caused by a random mutation of the dominant gene. Some experts question the random nature of the mutation based on information about the identification of several cases of mild signs of the syndrome in the parents of patients. There are studies according to which the pathology is caused by a mutation of the PT10 gene located at the 10QX chromosome locus. At the same time, the researchers point out that mutations of this gene are found in only 20% of patients with Proteus syndrome and are determined in some other diseases characterized by an increased likelihood of malignant neoplasia. Thus, the genetic basis of the disease has not yet been definitively established. The cause of the disease is somatic mosaicism, presumably caused by a random mutation of the dominant gene. Some experts question the random nature of the mutation, based on information about the identification of several cases of mild signs of the syndrome in the parents of patients. There are studies according to which the pathology is caused by a mutation of the PT10 gene located at the 10QX chromosome locus. At the same time, the researchers point out that mutations of this gene are found in only 20% of patients with Proteus syndrome and are determined in some other diseases characterized by an increased likelihood of malignant neoplasia. Thus, the genetic basis of the disease has not yet been definitively established. Symptoms. There are no obvious signs of the disease at birth. Symptoms of the disease usually appear in the first or second year of life. As a child grows up, there may be a rapid growth of neoplasms. The main signs of congenital Proteus syndrome are asymmetric enlargement of the fingers on the extremities, the appearance of moles from connective tissue and the epidermal layer, abnormal structure of blood and lymphatic vessels, accelerated ossification of the skull bones and premature closure of fontanelles, local atrophy of adipose tissue or conversely, the formation of fatty cells, lipomas the appearance of cysts in the lung tissue. Changing the appearance of an arm or leg can lead to joint and muscle pain. The proliferation of tissues in the skull area can lead to secondary compression of brain tissue with the formation of mental retardation, convulsive syndrome, and visual disturbances. The skin of the soles may thicken, which leads to cracks and corns. A typical sign of Proteus disease is the occurrence of malignant tumors, which significantly shorten the life expectancy of patients. Other life-threatening consequences of the disease are considered complications of vascular pathologies. There is an increased risk of deep vein thrombosis. Cases of pulmonary embolism have been described. Due to the increase and difference in the length of the lower extremities, the load on the joints and spine increases, and a curvature of the spinal column is formed. Secondary arthrosis and osteochondrosis are detected. More than half of the patients have mental retardation due to compression of nerve tissues by enlarged bones of the skull. Seizures and neurological disorders are possible. Diagnostics. Due to the low prevalence, the similarity of Proteus syndrome with some other congenital diseases, diagnosis can present significant difficulties. Specialists in the field of oncology, traumatology, and orthopedics vascular surgery, etc. 
Take part in the diagnostic search process. Hemihypertrophy, vascular abnormalities, and a tendency to tumor formation are considered as the main criteria. The survey plan includes survey inspection. Anamnesis shows abnormal growth of a body part in early childhood. Repeated operations for neoplasms. An external examination reveals a disproportionate asymmetrical enlargement of the limbs or head. It is possible to detect subcutaneous lipomas, ophthalmological disorders, and mental retardation. Radiography. An accessible instrumental technique that allows you to assess the condition of the bone structures of the affected area of the body, joints, and spine. X-ray images show enlarged bones of the skull or limb segments, degenerative and dystrophic changes in joints and vertebral column, tomographic methods, CT and MRI scans of bones, soft tissues, skull and brain are performed to clarify the severity of disorders, determine the relationship between bone and soft tissue structures, detect neoplasms, vascular anomalies, bone defects in the skull that cause compression of the respiratory organs, the organ of vision and intracerebral structures. Vascular research, angiography, dopplerography, duplex scanning are prescribed if vascular malformations, thrombosis, embolism are suspected. They make it possible to determine the severity of vascular damage. Choose the optimal treatment strategy. Laboratory tests. Since Proteus syndrome is characterized by a high probability of thromboembolic complications, all patients need to assess the state of the hemostasis system, coagulogram. In case of violations by the organ of vision, an ophthalmological examination is prescribed. In case of mental retardation, tests are used to determine the level of intelligence and cognitive abilities. In case of convulsive syndrome, disorders of the central and peripheral nervous system, a neurologist's consultation is indicated. The disease is differentiated with congenital lipomatosis and Klippel Trenoni Weber, Mafuchi, Benayan Sonnen syndrome which also reveal tumors, partial hypertrophy, and vascular pathology, prognosis, and prevention. Proteus syndrome is a disabling disease that negatively affects the life expectancy of patients. According to research, many patients die in childhood or at a young age. The causes of death are malignant neoplasia, PE, thrombosis of large vessels. Preventive measures have not been developed due to the innate nature of the pathology and insufficient knowledge of the etiology of the disease. Patients suffering from this disease should be regularly examined to assess the condition of the blood coagulation system, early detection of neoplasms, possible complications. People suffering from Proteus syndrome can have a variety of complications, and first of all, these are oncological diseases, but they are not the only ones who pose a serious danger to life. This syndrome is also characterized by vascular pathology. There is a high risk of deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism, which becomes the main cause of death in patients. Due to the increased load on the legs, the knees and lower back suffer. This causes the development of various curvatures of the spine. Many patients develop arthrosis and osteochondrosis and in severe forms. As for mental development, it also leaves much to be desired. This is due to the fact that the incorrectly positioned bones of the skull strongly compress the brain, which leads to mental retardation in its various manifestations and varying degrees of severity. Life expectancy is short patients rarely live to adulthood. All kinds of complications become the cause of death. Unlike many other genetic diseases, Proteus syndrome is not passed down by a parent. A random mutation during fetal development is all it takes, and the result is disturbing. People with Proteus syndrome experience uncontrolled growth of soft tissues and bone, disfiguring them tremendously. Some affected by the disease will experience mental health issues, including diminished intelligence and seizures. Blood clots are common and are often fatal for the afflicted, and people often generate tumors randomly on their bodies. The infamous elephant man was believed to be a sufferer of Proteus syndrome.